Okay, everybody out in YouTube land, here we go. This is my small off-grid solar system, the Quit Your Bitch and Bar Backyard Off-Grid. Let's give you a look at what we got going on here real quick. Like up here on the roof, you see up here I have six panels or 12 volt panels, 120 watts a piece. So a total of 720 watts configured in a 24 volt configuration. The two on the right tied together, middle tied together, bottom and top tied together. And it runs over to one string at 24 volts, comes down the side of the roof. I'll show you what's going on over here. There's the backyard. Ah, a little bit of stuff here. What we run on it also is here I have a outdoor TV. That right there is about a 55 inch TV that runs on it. Over here on the side you can see you have an outlet right down here. That outlet switch power on the TV in the backyard. One goes into the bedroom so my bedroom's off grid. That outlet goes in there, powers up TV, other things, and my bedroom will be off grid. I have this beer refrigerator on the patio. This is off grid. This comes up to the outlet up there. Come over here. So the solar panels come down. The side of the roof up here, come down, comes down this cable, goes to this disconnect. This disconnect, you have it all labeled up. Tells you exactly how much your current, your voltage, max voltage, short circuit, come out, it's fused inside, 30 amp fuse. It's like a regular disconnect, pull it out, that shuts off your solar panels. Comes down to the bottom down here goes into my solar. The other one you see here on the right is my AC power coming back. What that does is it ties in over here to a GFI outlet. That GFI outlet powers up all the other outlets so everything's GFI protected. I dug a trench down here, runs across to this grounding rod right here. So from the top of the array, a number six gauge solid ground wire runs all the way down, comes up over here, goes into my bar, hits my equipment, comes back out of there to this one single grounding rod. That's eight feet in the ground, so you only have one ground. Take you over here real quick. Ah, la, 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 la. How do you like the backyard? Pretty cool. Fire pit, smoker. Here we go. Now we're getting into the bar here. The quit your bitching bar. If you come to my bar, no bitching. Here we go. Coming over here. Every bar's got to have a kegerator. Have the kegerator. I was running this on my solar, but this one draws a lot of wattage, so I kind of only run it during the daytime on solar. At nighttime, I put it on to regular power because it's a hog, 2,000 watts a day. Okay, so we come in here. What you see here is my batteries are down here. It's all vented. The box over here on the side is where all my equipment is at. So if you come over here, this here I built, it houses all my equipment. I have all my warning labels on here. So anyone that's going to open this, it has a lock here. It goes in locks. Has all your battery, what's going on, how much is coming in, the warning, the high voltage, electrical hazard. So that way this is labeled up. People know not to mess with it. Open it up. Go ahead and shut this real quick. Locks into place. Right here, I have a diagram drawn up of what the system is from the array coming down, where I have fusing, where I have my disconnects fusing going in, the charge controller to the battery bank, from the battery bank disconnects, fusing again to the inverter, to my QO load center, to my ACs coming out. So if you get in here, you're going to know exactly, you have a little diagram of what's happening. From here we have the, everything comes in the bottom. There's my grounding rod coming in, hitting it, going back out, my PV coming in, the positive comes in, goes up to the disconnect, so I can shut it off right here, it says off and on. From here, my power comes back out through a breaker, not a breaker, but a fuse. So I have a 60 amp fuse. Should really have about a 30 amp fuse, but I have a 60 coming in, goes into my charge controller. I have regular charge controller. I don't have the MPPT right now. I've ordered it, but I said I'll start with this one right here. It seems to be doing pretty good. So right now I'm at 26.6. Refrigerator's on, other things are on right now. I'm bringing in. 20.7 amps which is good it's only 21 amp system so right now in the mid-afternoon it's about two o'clock right now I'm bringing it in this starts at about 10 or 11 in the morning and I'll generate a lot of power so far I've been generating about 150 amps a day off my system it's like mid April so I'm getting plenty of sunlight from here comes out of the charge controller 
your negative and your positive in, your negative comes out, positive comes out, and do another fuse, 60 amp fuse, 60 amp controller, I'm never going to put out that much, but now your positive comes down with your negative, carries over here, goes into my battery bank. We'll look at the battery bank in a minute. Coming from the battery bank, it's through a fusing over there, 150 amp fuse, my negative goes straight in, my positive comes out, goes to a battery shutoff. This way I can shut the battery off. Over here I can shut the solar off. This goes into the pure sine wave. It's a Kotec inverter. It's a 1500 watt. The fan just shut off because the refrigerator turned itself off. 1500 watt pure sine wave. From here, I'm coming out, going over into a load center. So I'm bonding everything inside of here. Yes, I am bonding. Everything comes out. Your grounds come out from each one, hit the grounding, goes to the thing. You can bond it because it's pure sine wave and doesn't have a problem. Your main inverter comes into this fuse here. You turn it on and off. This is my power coming in. This is my patio. This goes to the bar. That way I'm fused for my 120 volt loads. And it's off grid system. It's not attached to the grid. This is a total independent system. Now let's take a look at the battery bank. When you come over to the battery bank, as you can see here, I have my warning, everything, so people know what's in here. This lifts off, comes over to here. Now we can get into the battery bank. So down here, I have 150 amp fuse. This is my hot coming out, going over to what you've seen going over there. Battery bank works as 24 volt system. So this is a 24 volt battery. This is a 24 volt battery. I have eight. 210 amp hour 6 volt golf cart batteries inside of here. So they're tied together, series of four and four. So think of it this way. Here we'll start with the front four. Go one, two, three, and four. So my positives are on this side. My negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. Exact same on the back end. All these cables are the exact same size throughout the whole system. There's no difference in those. I want those to be about the exact same size. Now, my positive going out is on this side of the battery bank. That goes out to my fuse, goes out to the inverter. The negative, all the way over here on the opposite side of the battery bank, is my negative. That's going out, all the way out. So you're running off two opposite ends. They're jumped together here. Everything's looped together, my negatives are looped together, my positives are looped together, ties them together. So it's one big 24 volt battery. My solar now, here's something I do a little different. My solar charge controller comes in to this positive right here. Now this, my positive over here is where I'm taking the power out, but I'm charging from the other end. And then my charge controller comes in the opposite end of the other bank over here is my negative. What this does is it forces all the solar charging to go through and my power is coming out the other end so it equalizes the whole bank. Some people put it over here and you can do that and that's fine but this way here now my power has to run through the whole bank and my power comes out the opposite end of the bank so I'm equalizing everything across here and everything stays right on. You know, If it's 6.1, that one's 6.1, this one's 6.1, everything I measure it daily it works out really good. Pretty much my system is 24 volt. My equipment doesn't get hot. Battery bank's good. I think I might want to go a little bigger on the battery bank, but it's an off-grid system. So it's basically a generator. Back over here with the system. It's pretty clean. Works good. Lots of fusing. Safety with shutoffs. There's fusing. There's disconnects. Everything here. And that's it pretty much for the system. If you want more videos, we can do more. Just throwing this out there to show you what I've done. Now, the off-grid solar bar. I think it's time to pour me a cold one here. Enjoy something a little refreshing. <sighs> All right, till next time. Mm -mm. If you like it, tell me that you like it. And I'll make some more videos and go in depth a little more. That's it for now, folks. Thank you.